Hello, welcome to Brimwood Farm and another new series and I'm really excited because it's time for Chick Check 2018. Brimwood Farm uh, last year, so in 2017, you will know that we did our first ever chick check. And every Wednesday, we followed a group of chicks from day one all the way through uh, to three months old, checking in with them every week to see how they developed, who turned into a boy and a girl, and the different colours. And it was actually really, really fun. And I like uh, how I can look back on it as well and see the development. So it is that time again. So I've had some eggs in the incubator, uh, and this time we've done a potluck from the layers. So my laying flock are a big mix of chicken. We have one rooster in there, he's a frizzle Poland, but the hens are I am Samani, Silky Crosses, Polands, there's a Leghorn Exchequer, there's a couple of normal garden hens, and I've just taken a load of eggs out of that laying flock, shoved them in the incubator, and done some weird crossing uh, just to do some uh, stuff for Chick Check, and we can follow them through for the next three months. Now, they started hatching out on Monday, uh, so let's go and see what is in the incubator. I'm quite excited. Um, we haven't got as many as last year. Last year we had about 15 chicks, I think. This year there are only four, but that doesn't make it any less exciting. And in fact, we can watch them with even more detail. So let me take you down here. There's an, another, another little package of eggs here, but that's for another day. Uh, so this is our incubator, and there are our chicks. And I'm actually gonna open it up. So we're gonna take them out, and we're gonna put them uh, into the main coop or the main brooder rather. So we've got four little chicks that we're going to follow through. Let's lift these incubator up. Now there were two, uh, two more eggs in here and they didn't hatch. And I'm not entirely sure why. But here we go. Here are our four little bubbers. So they are a random assortment. I don't know exactly what they are. One also had splayed legs. So I'm going to check it. Um, I think it was this little chap. But his legs might have... Is it you? No, it's not you. It's not you, is it? Is it you at the corner? In fact, I was going to do a big video on correcting splayed legs, but it seems that it, they've corrected themselves. So we're going to put these little guys out into the, uh, the brooder. This, I think, is a Poland, um, hence the little crest but let's get them out into the warm. So here are our four little chicks for Chick Check, and we're gonna follow these guys through. So you can see we've got two lovely little brown, a little black one with some ginger on its head, and then this little, this other little uh, funny thing. Now I think this is a, oh, all right, let's put them down one by one, and we'll just pick them up, there we go. So, this one I think is a Poland because it has its funny little head crest. So if I turn it on the side a little bit, you can see it's got a little bump on its head. So I'm fairly sure that's a Poland. Uh, and they, it's worth checking their feet as well. So all of these guys, this just has the four toes. So we know that's not a silky cross of which I've had quite a few of in the past. Now this little guy is a silky cross. Is he? Not on that foot, he's not. There is one. Oh, no, maybe not on that foot either. Oh, this one isn't a silky cross, so this little guy. But this little guy was the one. When, when he had first hatched, or she first hatched, there was a bit of splay legging going on. Um, but seems to have corrected itself as she or he has dried up and got nice and warm. You can still see on these babies, they are so small, they still have the tiny egg tooth. Can you see that tiny white dot on the end of its beak? That is its egg tooth. And that will drop off, but that was used to chip uh, out of the egg. And you can also see that when chicks are even just a few hours old, they're already starting to grow their wing feathers. You can see these wing sheaths here, which the feather's going to come out of. Very cute little baby. Then we have this lovely little brown guy. Again, let's check your feet. Not a silky cross, that's good. Beautiful little chap. 
I love the colour on this, it's sort of a russety brown. Really nice. And then who else haven't we looked at? You, we haven't looked at you. Ah, here we go. Here is our silky cross. And how do I know that? Because five toes. So we have this little toe here, and this is a telltale sign of a silky cross. Lovely little chick though. So obviously last year I did a ton of chicks, but I already have so many chicks hatching. I'm kind of glad that we haven't got loads for chick check. And we can watch these four in more detail. Um, and also if you are a Patreon of Brimwood Farm, then pop onto the uh, Patreon page at some point because you are going to be naming these guys. There's only four of them, so I thought I will leave it up to my patrons to name them. Uh, and they're all distinguishable. There are enough different ones that we're going to be able to easily distinguish between everybody. Aren't they cute? Now because it's the summer and it's warmer, I've decided to set the brooder up actually in the conservatory. Um, because chicks and dust is just a nightmare. And I also, if you've been watching the small honing diaries, you will know that I actually have a broody hen in the living room on eggs already. So here are our lovely little four babies. I haven't obviously given them any food or water yet in here. Um, and I've just literally popped them in now, so they don't know where the heat source is, but there it is. Um, it's going to be under there. But it is warm enough today as well for them just to kind of potter around. Isn't this one adorable? Look at the colours. This is where I have a problem with chickens, because now I want to keep them all. Um, but we'll see. If they're roosters, obviously, I'll change my mind. If they're hens, we never know. But if they're hens, maybe, uh, and you guys see them throughout the growing process, maybe you will, you will want them at some point. So we'll see. But four lovely little hens, or chickens, sorry, for uh, Chick Check. And it's going to be interesting to see what these are. So... If you think the cockerel, their dad is a silver laced frizzle Poland. And their mum could be anything from a silky uh, cross, which we know we have got in here, to a Poland, to a silky, pure silky, a leghorn exchequer, um, and I'm Samani. So we will see. This is a mixed bunch, so we'll work out who is what. But for now, super cute. Now let me just pop them under here so they know where is warm. Go under there little one. I know. And I'll bring their food and water out in a minute. Obviously they don't actually need food and water yet because they literally only just hatched yesterday. They will peck of course. They are precocial so they're born up on their feet and ready to go and if you put food in there they will start to peck at it. Um, and they will start to eat, but they actually have got so much yolk in their bellies that it's not necessary straight away. Can we get a cute little shot of them underneath? Yes, we can. Hello. Aren't you adorable? Little fluffy bums. Hi. So that is Chick Check 2018. This is week one. They are three days old, or two, or actually probably only about a day and a half. And we're going to follow them through all the way to three months. That was kind of the cut-off date last time. Uh, and as I say, if you're a Patreon, got, pop onto Patreon. I'm going to upload some pictures and we're going to choose their names. And I'll let you hopefully know in a couple of weeks what we've decided upon. Uh, but for now, thank you for stopping in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future updates of these chicks. Uh, it's going to be on a Wednesday, so every Wednesday we will have Chick Check. Um, and if we get more chicken check-ins, I'll just pop those up on another day. Uh, but for now, I shall see you later. Bye-bye.